What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another video. We checking out Marvel's Avengers character design. This just came out like a few seconds ago. We're gonna go ahead and check this out fully. Be sure to have a little. Let me know in the comments below well, if you want to check out any more videos. Please like and subscribe. Let's get right into the video. And yes, I am laying down because I have a huge headache. I'm not even gonna lie. Eventually, on the team, me and uh, other people started having this idea of what if Star Lord's favorite band, when he was a kid, was actually named Star Lord. Everything from then just kind of exploded, and we found his obsession with Star Lord, the band, his 80s style. All this explained his design by him putting the patch of his favorite band in his jacket. Sun Lord, right? It's Star Lord. We peppered his design with uh, little Easter eggs from the 80s. Which, with pins on his lapel and of the vinyls from the 80s and the Space Invader icon and his, of course, his Star-Lord pin. I guess the word that would define the design of Star-Lord the most would be space metal. Yeah, like rock and roll. <laughs> Storytelling for the design of the Guardians then became really important. Uh, from from Star-Lord then we, we found a bit um, Drax with his tattoos. In our design we actually have a backstory that the uh, tattoos uh, are circular in nature, and every circle he adds means he won a battle, which also informed the environment of Katath, his home planet, which everything is based on these circle designs, the tombstones, the arches, so all the architecture was then derived from the tattoos. As for Gamora, it was very important. We had to give her a very strong, powerful look, so we came up with the idea of going back a bit to our, what they had done in the comics and we were really inspired by one of the looks of the black and white armor. We even had little touches of uh, like American fists on all her knuckles, on her feet, which emphasizes that she's ready to punch, kick, kill at any moment. As for Rocket, I'd actually have to say that Rocket uh, was the easiest one to nail to, as a design because he's so upfront in what he likes. He likes explosions, he likes grenades, he likes to tinker. So, of course, we needed to, to put that on his design. We needed him to have his goggles because they're actually gameplay related. We have a goatee that he actually has a little, some beads that looks like Groot because, you know, they're best friends. And then, of course, he has his gun that transforms into his backpack, so it's, just, it's always ready for action to transform and, of course, the gun Golly. is his size. Groot was the hardest, weirdly the hardest to nail. We wanted him to have more armor platings and almost feel like he was a big mech. But we came up with this, since him and Rocket are best friends, we thought that Rocket should always be customizing Groot in the sense that it's his mech. Therefore, he added an, a harness to him so he could grab onto him, stay on him, use him as a turret. And all this is related to gameplay as well. It's not just story. So uh, Groot and Rocket are intertwined as designs. I can't wait for this game. Let me, know, go, let me know in the comments down below. What are you guys hoping for the new um, Guardians of the Galaxy game? I'm hoping it does good. I'm really hoping. It's not going to do Spider-Man PS4 or the Arkham series good. But it's going to do better than Marvel's Avengers. I do know that. But catch you guys later being bored in Catch you guys later. I did say that twice. Don't L me. But peace out, guys.